Hey guys, Mars Raymond's here. In one of my last videos, I mentioned that I want to create procedural islands for my project, and I played around and I think I have something to show you. By using procedural mesh component from the crop project and PCG, you can actually create pretty cool stuff, so let's jump into it. So as I mentioned for our procedural island, we will use island generator from the crop sample project. I will use Unreal Engine 5.3 for this project. Now in the project, first we will go to the plugins and enable PCG plugin, and we will enable water plugin. Then we can restore the engine. Now I will make empty level and add some lights to the scene. Then let's add ocean in our scene. I will zero splines since we are not using landscape and I will fix ocean bones. Then we need to find island generator blueprint. Enable show plugin content and in plugins folder find island generator. In create island function, we will remove island gen complete node. So we're just gonna remove the gameplay function so we can use this blueprint in any project we want. Then in the same blueprint, I will add collision box and will set bounds to the 10,000 for now. Then I will also need to add PCG component since we will be generating PCG from this blueprint. So drop your island and adjust the parameters to get desired island look. Now let's create a new folder, and inside the folder we need to make new PCG graph. To sample points on the static mesh, we will use rolled ray query. For it to work on your static mesh or dynamic mesh, make sure that the collision channels match between ray hit query and your mesh. In my case, both are using rolled static. Then we add surface sampler to our graph. Now we can see that it's sampling points on the island and also on the water. Let's fix that by adding actor tag to our blueprint. I will call mine island. Then in the hit query, add a tag and set filter to include tag. Now it's sampling points only on the island. Now I can add normal density, density noise, density filter, and I can spawn some trees. And here you go. If you don't want trees to spawn or sand, or you want to spawn something else, we can add another heat query and surface sampler. Then in heat query, enable parameter overwrite. Default settings work fine for this island. We can add difference node. Then in surface sampler set looseness to 0. Disable steepness filter and play with the point size. Lastly, to generate PCG every time island generates. In the island generator, in create island function, we can add new pin in the sequence. Grab PCG node and add generate. Add it to the sequence. Now every time island generates, it will also force PCG to generate. Now we can make other islands in our scene. Landscape materia has opacity boundary. If you will try to grab island out of these bounds, it will become invisible. To fix that, open material and disconnect opacity mask. Now you can drag islands wherever you want. If you want to make your world even more procedural, you can set up island spawning for PCG graph instead of dragging them manually. Now we have playable procedural island that we can expand in the future. So if you find this quick tutorial useful, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye!